Welcome to Color Me Happy. My name is Brandy Hofer. Thank you so much for being here. I am your host and this conversation is so like, I, I'm i not sure what to call it. I wasn't sure what to call it. I'm sure it has a title now because <laughs> I have to come up with it in three minutes when I post it. However, I just want to call it everything. We talk about everything in this episode. It's a little bit longer but totally worth it to listen all the way to the end because it is just the perfect example about how the universe or whatever you believe in. So if you believe in God, if you believe in fate, if you believe in intuition, um, I say universe. So Kristen and I, Kristen Hickman from Red Banjo Studios, professional photographer for 20 years is on today. And we popped one night, we popped, we popped in the studio one night um, for a session um, for in the winter, earlier in the winter, and now it is spring. And since this podcast recording, we did this really magical thing together. And I'm listening now and editing to this episode and we talk about how we're on like the same universal wavelength and it's so strange because people always uh, commission me to paint portraits from her photography and we're talking about like I don't know I'm in whatever you love to do and I'm like I love you and (laughs) just chatting the whole time and we're on the same frequency and and since this day um, and I will tell that you the whole story start to finish because it is just crazy coincidence. One crazy coincidence of magic happening again and again and again. And I'm not sure if any of you have this with other people, but when you feel magic with someone, follow it. Go with your intuition and just see where it takes you because this is my example. Uh, And in this particular story, so Kristen Hickman has uh, four children, three daughters, and one of her daughters, Ruby, was turning 12. And Ruby is really creative. She's in in the arts and she, she particularly loves performance. But Kristen thought that she would get her... Um, or she asked me, it's not a a service I really offer is one-on-ones in my studio um, to teach my technique. And uh, so she asked me, but I love Kristen. So I said, yes, of course. And then that very morning that they were going to head to my studio, I messaged Kristen and I said, Kristen, why don't you come with Ruby? And I just see a saw fly, had to get it. Sorry. <laughs> Why don't you come with Ruby, Kristen? And and we'll all have like a session together. And, you know, probably less awkward for Ruby, even though she's like actually the greatest. <laughs> and it would have been fine. But I was like, it, it'll be so nice to have her mom here and we can like hang out and have the greatest afternoon of our lives. And that we did. Uh, it was, I can't even, I can't even put it in words how amazing it was. And my technique, I've been keeping a secret forever. And I don't really share why, how I get my portraits so perfect. Um, And my art, or not my art, my art consultant said, you know, Brandy, you have to say that you're sketching these because um, people, they look so accurate. They look like photo transfers. So just make sure you're really specific that like this is a this is a drawing and a well it's mixed media it's a technically a painting if you because I use oil pastels anyways I'm getting off topic I've never shared my technique with anyone I've kept it a secret for a very long time because it took me a long time to get to my technique but I have been practicing abundance and that there is room for everyone to shine and grow and part of abundance is actually putting into practice that everyone can shine and grow so my ego got in the way for a long time and I got burnt out because I have so many orders all the time that I can't like I couldn't keep up and I I had to stop and I started writing a book instead and I started a podcast instead so I could create in a different way because it kind of ruined painting for me 
And so Kristen came and Ruby came and I showed them and it opened like this magical door to, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I love this so much. And I love showing people. And not only that, but their portraits were like, I'm going to swear. <laughs> Who announces when they swear? I do. They're so fucking amazing. They're so amazing. They're like, you'll see them because I'm going to get to the end of my story. But you'll be blown away. Like go to our website and go to brandyhofer.ca and go to learn or go to our Instagram at brandyhofer.ca. Uh, Brandy Brandy Hofer, I'm so excited. Brandy Hofer Studios on Instagram. And you'll see. So Kristen is a professional photographer, obviously. So we drew from her pictures and she has these stunning pictures of her daughters. And like there's, oh my gosh, like you'll see. And then you'll come back and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I know, I agree. And I'll be like, I told you. And so... I couldn't stop thinking about it. I couldn't stop thinking about it all weekend. They came on a Friday and I called Kristen on Sunday and I was like, we have to capture this. Like, I'm so blown away because she kept working on hers when she went home. Kristen did and Ruby did. And she sent me the picture and I showed everyone I knew. I texted it to everyone I knew. I was like, can you believe this? Like, I showed Kristen, like we use the stretched paper that my kids and I make in our studio and then I put the portraits over top. So we picked from my drawer of those pieces and Kristen and Ruby drew their portraits over top of my paintings. And so they took them home to work on them with the Prismacolor pencil crayons and pastels and chalk pastels or whatever they wanted. And then they sent me what they had worked on two days later and I was just like on the floor. It was amazing. So I phoned Kristen and I was like, this, this is like, this is actual pure magic right here. We have to do something. We have to share this. I have to share this technique with other people. I feel the need that it, they can just can reconnect to their creativity because Kristen is very creative and she didn't do it anymore because she had some bad experiences, um, in, in school and, and she kind of, you know, you know, we all have those experiences. Uh, and that's another podcast for in itself. But she, she reconnected to something that was within her and it just like blossomed. And she's like, I couldn't stop painting it. This is such a long story. But um, it just needs full explaining. Um, and you'll never know until you actually see what I'm talking about. So the next weekend they came and we captured everything from start to finish. Uh, I show and share all my secrets that I hoarded for so long. Um, And I started practicing my abundance and it's been the most beautiful journey of all time for me. Um, And Kristen takes you through. So we recorded it all. Sorry, we made a class. We made a portrait class. And we made a portrait class for people who don't know how to draw or uh, artists who want to learn to do portraits or people who want to do something fun with their friends or uh, young young women or boys, men, um, who, who want to learn or a class. Like it can be, it's, it's that approachable. And so Kristen takes you through how to take the perfect picture just with beside a window and phone uh, with your phone um, using a few simple props or just to get the lighting right and how to use your phone properly. And I take you through everything um, from stretching the paper, making the background, making the portrait. And then we have like bloopers and Ruby tells you about her experience and how she's 12 and how the way I taught her how to draw. It's just like, you don't get the eyes wrong or the, you don't have to know how, like there's no pressure or worry about, you know, getting it perfect. It's just a full expression of you, but it's in the best way. Anyway, (laughs) I'll let you get to this very, uh, wonderful podcast with my very good friend and our friendship has blossomed since then. And it's just, you'll see how weird it is that we talk about 
all the things we do and then we later two or three months later go and do something out of this world um thanks for being here and be sure to check check out our portrait class and i hope you really enjoy this talk nope i'm back i have to add extra audio because <laughs> this needs to be longer <laughs> i don't think so i want to remind you and i want to tell you that working with other people and lifting one another up and collaborating well, there's my kids from the bath is so important it it is just like it is beneficial and awesome and exciting and good for both parties and and the more you do it the more you'll want to keep doing it and the more hello the oh hi batman <laughs> the more beautiful people you meet along the way and collaboration above competition any day of the week um okay <laughs> It's just Teddy. Oh, Teddy, hi. I didn't know. You looked like Batman. Okay, I'll let you get to the podcast, friends. Thanks for being here. Okay. Right. <laughs> cool. We'll start. Welcome. Okay. Thank you for being Thank here. You. I'm so excited because we have, like, connected as creatives. Not really by choice, but I'm so yeah. happy I have been uh, <laughs> over the years over and over and over again. And it's yeah. like, yeah, it was like the universe shouting something at us. So yeah, definitely. I'm a vocal, I know. Creative, and so yeah, this is Kristen from Red Badger Studios. Very talented in so many ways. Um, I would say it goes beyond photography. It's it's just like you have so many creative passions, and it kind of integrates into everything you do. So you have like this special magical presence oh it goes like it goes beyond yeah photography like you have uh like every session you do like has like that special medical touch but also like with your kids growing up you you did like kind of almost staging and like yeah. um renovation sort of things and always really inspiring and um yeah so i want to talk about you know, where your journey really began, uh, right from early on. Actually, I want to hear about your family and I want to hear about uh, how you got into photography and where you went to school. And I want to know all the things because <laughs> some, such a beautiful human and I know it'll just be a great story. So yes, yeah, <laughs> let's start from the beginning. Um, I guess I would say maybe like start in high school then. Sure. Is that too far back? Yeah. No, high school, juicy. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was always very interested in art, and actually, drawing was sort of my first passion, I guess. Um, and I had an excellent art teacher, Murray McDonnell. Do you know Murray McDonnell? He's a local artist. No, um, but I've heard so much about him. Yeah, he's amazing. So he was my art teacher in high school and encouraged me to pursue it. And so I applied to Grant McEwen and um, went there and took their fine art program, their two year uh, diploma program. And um, I, yeah, so I like studied painting, drawing, uh, sculpture, like all those things and and then had a photography class and it was back in the day of uh film, film. and yeah <laughs> i'm Me really too. aging myself great yeah no <laughs> oh, i yeah. also took film photography but at the point where i took it yes it was like um a choice there was the digital option <laughs> Oh, there was, okay. You're not quite yeah. as old as I am, but. <laughs> so was that at Nova Scotia that you took? No, that was in Red Deer. I just took like a, oh. an extra, just for fun. Um, oh, cool. A developing course, yeah, with film. And then we developed everything and did, uh, you know, when you just expose things, we just yep. did like exposure. Oh, and yeah. And yeah. I did a lot of um, winter night stuff, which was really oh. cool to capture. Yeah because hmm. well i would always run i was on the cross-country running team yeah and uh, i would always i lived in the dorms at rdc right on the edge by the running trail so yeah. 
I, and I would walk home at night from classes because sometimes they would end it, you know, later uh, for, for, they always booked our classes at night. They're like, you will be, it'll be romantic when you draw nudes <laughs> at night. <laughs> I don't know what your thought process was like that, but, but I was like, That's funny. Yeah, except I'm more terrified than anything as a young female, but whatever. Yeah. Um, walking home by myself at night. Um, it was so sparkly, like snow in the winter is like yeah. the most beautiful don't wear frost uh, on the and trees. The, it's like, everywhere. it's so peaceful too, that like the way that the sound is dampened and yeah. Everything. It so yeah, pretty. I did a ton of night black and white night photography oh, and cool. and for hmm. I'm not very technical, I'm not a very technical technical being, so I'm surprised it turned out actually. So <laughs> well, yeah, we actually I I am not either. I don't consider myself that technical uh as well. <laughs> you have to, to, to be like somewhat savvy. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've limped along <laughs> over the years, I guess, but uh, definitely, yeah, I definitely more of the creative side, I guess, is where I, yeah, that's your, that's where you, where my connect. interests lie. Yeah. Yeah. No, I met more tech, technical photographers for sure. Like nothing that's fine. Like if you're technical or if you yeah. like the other yeah. parts, but like Nicole right. Weiss is a good example. Like she's very technical yes. Um, yes. and the words that come out of her mouth, I'm like, you do yeah. you, I don't right. know what you're talking about but I know you're super yeah. smart for it um well and even that like she photographs your art right yeah she you're, does she does yeah and so that like I'd be scared to do yeah. that like I don't think yeah. I, I'm not well, capable. The, yeah the last um collection was high gloss high gloss epoxy oh. finish so I'm like this is my nightmare I don't even want to yeah. attempt it <laughs> I right. wrote it all up and took it to her studio and she was a champion as always and uh and like large scale capturing large scale the one behind for um print making like make it into yeah. archival prints and stuff like that cool. anyway yeah so you fell in love with this first class in in at Grant McEwen or so that's yeah. in Edmonton or where is it yeah yeah in Edmonton, Edmonton yeah for people who aren't Canadian and that's well, clearly right. I'm a Canadian I didn't even <laughs> I was like, is it? <laughs> yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. It's in Alberta, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And my campus was, it was all, it's like a smaller campus. It uh, was only the arts, was music students. And anyways, yeah, so it was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, but I was, I got, I guess, homesick to come back. And uh, so I came, came back and was actually, um, Kind of helping my dad with farming i guess and wasn't really doing a lot of art and then um one of my cousins asked me to photograph part of her wedding and that was kind of where i started getting into it and then and then of course when i started my family um which my son is 17 so 17 years ago that was kind of where i got really got started taking pictures of him and and then on and off oh, kind of just like went from there like that's yeah. so cool yeah it was just like yeah taking pictures of him and then just i guess friends would ask me and and then um yeah i, I yeah it kind of just grew and grew it was oh, i was cool. doing a lot of weddings in the beginning which i don't do anymore um I feel yeah. like I've aged out of them <laughs> Well, but you know, I well I did a wedding you were in actually. Do you remember that? Uh, I haven't been in many because I don't. Cause I'm such a solitary being, it's so surprisingly. <laughs> uh, yeah, Amber. I, I been in Amber. Yeah, one wedding. Yeah. I think I was in yeah. one wedding, okay. and no okay. one's asked me to become a nightmare <laughs> bridesmaid. No, I, don't know. I was surprised no, to no. be in that wedding. I think it was an afterthought. To, nothing oh. against Amber, but I'm pretty sure she was like, "Oh, why did that happen?" Oh my god, right. Yeah. Um you no, know, like yeah, weddings are <laughs> special. I I can yeah. see why I didn't even have like I had a backyard, but like I'm not into the Yeah, whole your sounds thing lovely. romantic. You know, dropping. It was romantic. It was the most mm -hmm. romantic northern mm -hmm. lights came out. It was like oh. the most beautiful, magical that we had, like my brother and sister sang and they sang as I walked down the grass. Oh, I love that. 
it was it was perfect it was it was what it should be and it cost mm -hmm. with my dress three thousand dollars wow so, guys, that's awesome. um yeah uh save your money for a down payment on a house that is a smart yes. way to go and and the rest well, is and know, honestly like, get on that train yeah i the, okay. the my favorite weddings that i ever photographed were the smaller the wedding the more i fell in love with all of it it was just yeah i, like I don't know gathered wildflowers that morning and put them yeah. in dirt oh i love Every, that there's so many ways to like not spend money mm -hmm. um and it's not really about the money, but it's it's more about the people and and stuff. But yeah, also yeah. okay. Let's mention why like it's tough for photographers around here and videographers. Um, I know because I'm friends with you all because we're all really close. Um, yeah, we only have like three, four good months in our year, yeah. so everyone gets married every weekend. In that, yeah. so then all it's winter you don't really work, and then your summer is consumed by that and it's just not yeah. too challenging. Yeah, no, and we don't really have the best venues around either. Like there's not a lot of, yeah, just gorgeous venues, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Cause that makes yeah. a big difference, especially if you're doing, yeah, like the reception and all that kind of stuff. If it's, the lighting isn't good, then it's can be a bit of a nightmare. Oh my gosh gosh fluorescence like that would be yes. <laughs> yeah no, the editing, be the editing it takes yeah no i know actually i've been thinking about that um uh a warehouse and i keep saying it to kim who's our, my videographer and your friend and yeah. everyone's friend um i was like we need a warehouse for the creatives and outside yeah. that warehouse would be perfect for something like that like rentable venue space but like in a beautiful spot um yeah. and he's like maybe in 10 years i was like i think it should be needed sooner <laughs> yeah i know i joke with my husband about maybe we should build a great big horse beautiful horse barn or something out on our property somewhere and just use it as a venue too but it's I don't all, know. I, I want people it, coming. Out here I feel like you're like, you're like, oh, this would be nice. And then you're like, oh, this is a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I know. Like, my dad could, yeah, I could like build a thing on his land too. Like, it's just, right. well, you were just out there with us and you photographed yes. my family. Um, oh, that was just yeah. so special. It was I loved it. really special. Just like, it was. In, just, you know, doing what we do, we just have a nice dinner mm -hmm. and walk around and play in the garden. And that's and, why I loved it so much. Cause I felt like I really got a peek at a day in the life of your family. It's so our sweet. Our world revolves around Teddy. That's what you got to look at. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, did I get pictures of the other boys? I tried, <laughs> but. so hard. Yeah. It's so sweet. And yeah. you're built. When they're older, they'll be like, mom, look at all these pictures. It's just, of course, it's just Teddy. <laughs> yeah, he steals the show. And yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, yeah. I guess I, we didn't record this part when I got recognized the other day. She's like, no, not you, your baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I love it. I just uh, have to channel. Um, yeah. By all. Yeah, okay, so then I didn't know it was like such an organic, um, and when you say you just photographed your children, like that's an understatement to, to like, that's not paying homage to what you did. Um, <laughs> all your children are so beautiful and like you're, they basically, did they enjoy being models for you all the time? <laughs> or were you um, like <laughs> they're, you know what, they're actually, they're really good about it uh for the most part there's been like years that, where they've gone through a bit more of like an annoyance but i usually try to i'll i'll say like okay just 15 minutes or like i and they're like okay and then of course it's always more than 15 minutes but they yeah, yeah. they handle it pretty good they know how much i love it and how much it means to me so i think for the most part they're pretty good about it but yeah i mean i and if we're on holidays and stuff like we'll have to go look do you have like 
it's hard to explain in words like what we're talking about like people have to go <laughs> to your site and see like I think my favorites are oh, they're all so good but like more recently you did like a witch one yeah and, that was so fun yeah and then you did um the sunflower one was really precious to oh, the sunflower you. field one um and and the sand does I was like did yeah you, you tricked me there it was really <laughs> cool it's it's just north of Hillmond it's like uh yeah you drive past it going up to tangle flags it's just like a i don't even know what it's called sand pit i don't know <laughs> that was fun like natural or did they like something happen there they like mined uh, it or something? i think they mine it do you mine sand is that what you think <laughs> some environmental experts would be like yes that's fine <laughs> look all the way <laughs> and it's just sand left and you guys are too <laughs> Yeah, no, that's my environmentalist <laughs> voice. I'm so sorry. So I actually have a secret passion, um, and it's voice acting. <laughs> so do uh, I. Do you? Do you love voice? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, if you saw my Harry Potter, uh, yes, it was so good. Video. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my God, you are so. I'm like, I am the worst actor on the face of the earth. Um, <laughs> actually but like it, it's hard to memorize lines and i, I <laughs> much, but i love voice acting like because no one's looking at you and you can right you can yeah it's fun anything the day uh the day the crayons quit uh by oh, Oliver yeah. Jeffers with someone else yeah. is my literal favorite book to read because all the crayons have voices like yeah yeah, yeah that's I what i always did with my time. kids too is the, yeah. the voices yeah i love that <laughs> it's so fun yeah. um yeah hey duncan it's me <laughs> me on red crayon don't know if you remember but anyway yeah um, i'm so tired i love it yeah no it is so much fun and now my kids are my kids will do that when they're reading too or now that they're like, they've kind of gotten into acting a bit, yeah. uh, the musical like theater. theater. So they're using the accents and yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun to be fun. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Like life is too short. And if you can yeah. make your kids laugh and your family laugh, like if you don't take it too seriously, cause it's easy to lose your shit on your kids. Oh yeah. Sure <laughs> oh yes. Um, yeah. Off to, like, so, sorry, like, sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> Feeling so, a little overwhelmed at the moment. Yeah, there's a million of you. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, I got it. Nothing against teachers, but I'm going to go into this. I got a note from the teacher and it just pushed me over the edge. I was like, oh, no. I <laughs> but like, I just had to explain what was going on at the time that I missed putting an orange in my son's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> um like teddy broke a pig bank and then urinated on the money and then came down and also dumped finn's craft and then that same day he also dumped three bottles of dish soap and toilet bowl cleaner on the garage floor so just to sum up like what is going on with my life oh my like, god hmm. like just like take it i like he's i said half the lunch i missed part sorry yeah. it won't again and oh. um, yeah like i have three kids six and under and right their boys, and sometimes i would categorize my husband as my fourth boy because <laughs> yeah it is. so you know it's huh. a season and i do get a little sensitive yeah. about it but, oh, um that's that's yeah, funny it's just like but I like how could you forget it. that orange brandy come on it's like so i gave him cheese and crackers i was like we don't we don't have dairy or gluten so thank you super <laughs> tough no but like, oh. so no, like i didn't tell her that but i was like yeah so sorry. i'm so sorry funny. i should probably cut that out but i'm not going to but um you <laughs> are amazing and i think they're so special for showing up every day because i fucking couldn't do that job oh um, yeah absolutely yeah for the life of yeah. me um so they're very special but yeah though yeah. uh, it's not like i'm neglecting my children in any shape no. or form it's just right. uh the, the way it is right now 
<laughs> um, oh, trust me, I have many days, many moments like that. Yeah, so you have you have three girls and one boy. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So seventeen, um, fifteen, eleven, and nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So would you see like raising a boy versus a girl? Like, is there some like noticeable big differences? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's very, very different. I would say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like more it would be different if I had two boys and two girls I think when you get more than one boy together they plot and it's <laughs> right? just people like, like all the it's, time they're like look at my penis you're like what what is happening in my life yeah exactly yeah, so, no they're girls super yuck yeah yeah but see and my my son is very in tune with like girls and He's always been friends with lots of girls too. So, well, it's yeah, because they're the majority in your home, right? Yeah, so exactly. You would be, yeah. yeah able Actually, to I just did a shoot him. with him because people people are always saying to me, "Oh, I didn't know he had a son," and I feel <laughs> horrible <laughs> about it. I'm like, "Yes, I do. There's a boy." So <laughs> I I just did a shoot with him, and it was um he's he just binge Peaky Blinders. Have you watched that? Oh, yeah. I haven't yeah. watched it. I tried like oh. a couple of weeks ago and yeah. I just wasn't in the right mind. Couldn't get into it. I, I no. it's good. I like it. But anyway, he was really into it. So we did kind of a Peaky Blinders photo shoot. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Have you I haven't shared any yet. So okay. I yeah. know I'm so behind in my share shares. Oh. Sharing. It's, yeah. I'm so like that's what I'm obligated to do. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yes, I um, actually I am grateful for my clients here at the end because they've been so patient. I haven't I've been bad with sharing and nobody's said anything to me. So okay. <sighs> I'm getting there though. I'm just about actually done my editing for the year. So it's oh, nice. hopefully hopefully by yeah the end of the weekend. Hopefully I'll have it all I'll be done. For yeah, the year we'll my, about those extra components that go along with um our trade like editing yeah. Yeah. and and stuff like that uh they they are so much more and i would say about 75 percent computer work and the rest is like oh yeah play not play yeah. but create creation yeah and the rest is fucking maybe more maybe like 80 yeah yeah oh gosh well and then maybe. now i feel like social media now is so much ramped up Right. Yeah. Computer time has really, um, yeah, it's not great. Like, I don't even think I went outside today, which is I know. not healthy. Yeah. Right. I felt really bad the other day because my mom kept saying, oh, it, it was such a lovely day. We got outside and I washed my windows and I was just like, stop telling me that because I, I need to do these things so badly, but I don't, I can't. And I, it just like makes me so frustrated that I, that's that's part of my struggle with photography like you were saying before about the like we have these it's about five months of decent weather to shoot outside and so I fill those months I kind of feel like a year's worth of work in five months and and then I don't get to really enjoy our weather our well I, I am when I'm shooting but the rest of the time I'm editing and anyway it's a struggle yeah no it is and yeah I, I guess it's just when you you attempt to balance it the best you can yeah and uh, that's kind of what i like about children is like they force you to go outside yeah they do they, they force you to yeah i'm balance, or you probably would sit and sit and sit and just like yeah never move or just like you know do your adult things when really yeah. You know, after a few hours of sitting, it's like, oh, I actually shouldn't be here. So it's, it's <laughs> right. they force you to balance. And like, they yeah. so like shit on everything in your life. Like, uh, <laughs> <one person. laughs> right. it's shit, but yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. But it is good. Um, yeah. So what else? Okay. So I want to talk about two, some of the cool things that have happened um with 
what we've collaborated on is one time I had a mural to do downtown and and it's so special it's still there I have yeah. good I have cool news about it for you so Ooh. your photography was used for the mural um because yeah. they wanted something like community based and so we found um Becky's son pushing the fire truck and then we put Lloydminster Fire Department on it LFD and the, so that was so special to the fire fighters and they yeah. got their picture by it but it has officially um since it was posted on google maps uh had over ten thousand visits wow. like as a destination in Lloydminster. that's so, amazing wow I, yeah i gotta share a larger story about that like uh cool. because josh joshua colson you know yep. him mm -hmm. yep. Harvard yep. as well and he um he had put it as a destination he didn't tell me he's just nice <laughs> and uh -huh. you know he also like showed up while i was painting that mural like eight times and did like aerial shots and i was like are you sure like can i give you some so i ended up painting him because he's a beautiful human and <laughs> um i was just like i'll paint your face okay um yeah so anyway he made it a thing and he he just sent me a message yesterday or today or something it's all blurry but um yeah it has over ten thousand <laughs> like people going there and being like Ping, we're here wow that's so cool that is so yeah cool. yeah so if that's not enough for people to know that you should you should like collaborate with other creatives in your community right not only that but um our downtown should have somewhere Right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. I think this is catching on. I had like four city jobs this month. So yeah, they were like, I love them. like, Hey, for years, I'm like, hi, I do stuff. I paint on stuff. My name yeah. is Brandy. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah. So no, it's pretty cool. Um, it's we so did, cool. Yeah. We, there's like a big Martin Brown communities space. They knocked down martin brown and so they're oh. making like this eco-friendly playground and stuff oh. and and where's yeah. that um on like kind of north end by the archie miller oh okay yeah i'm so bad with, like i obviously yeah. i'm local but <laughs> i i don't know a lot of places around lloyd often no. either yeah so they had like this this giant gazebo thing that Ecoplast built, so out of recycled bottles. Um, oh, it doesn't wow. look like it, but it's made, like, they can make like houses out of this. It's so interesting. I want to talk about That's it for a second. Cool. But like, um, they're like, so we don't want, like, we want this to look good and we just like paint stuff white. So the city oh. or uh, the Jason Arden from the cooperators uh, sponsored the mural. Um, I know I was supposed to say more, Jason Arden, the cooperators and associates, maybe. I don't know. Anytime I'm done with it, I have to say the whole thing. Um, because it's important because that's like sponsoring stuff is a big yeah, deal. Yeah, that's amazing. For our community for people to do those things. And um, yeah, so I went there and did a four day job in one because in, uh, it's getting cold, right? So stuff right. doesn't dry. Oh, wow. Um, so you so finished it? Up. Yeah, I finished like two oh weekends ago or three or something. Oh, wow. um, yeah, so it's cool. it went up. It looks great. Nice check it out. Yeah, I and I hope like people do photo sessions there and yeah. you know it's a safe place that the city made that people would be proud of. And okay, so Ecoplast is this like stuff out of recycled bottles, and okay. um, you can make houses out of it. Wow. And it's thicker for houses. And so you don't need siding or shingles or anything. Oh my it's God. It's so weird. That's... I'm like, oh, okay. Huh. Like looking and then they can just hire you to paint a mural. On yeah, all I'll just side. paint all the giant houses. Thanks. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I just was, I was shocked. I hadn't heard of this material, but it's bigger hmm. in the States in some okay. areas. And, yeah, you know, you hope Very cool. recycled things catch on eventually, but um, yeah. it's so new nice to, to where we live. Yeah, so um, back to your photography. I feel like <laughs> so I see shiny squirrels and I get distracted. <laughs> that's um, that's not a thing, by the way, shiny squirrels. <laughs> 
Unless they're greasy, maybe. <laughs> Shiny squirrel. Um, in my mind, it's a glittery squirrel that like. Yeah. Shines. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, you're thinking about introducing not only offering. I don't know. Is this a secret? Uh, can I talk about no, it? Uh, another element um, to your business, and that is a videography element to the photography. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I've been playing around with that this fall um, with kind of my the last few sessions. And um, I just, it's something that I just switch back and forth on my camera. Uh, like, so yeah, if I'm shooting, shooting uh, an individual shot of a little girl and I'll take a few shots and then I'll switch to video and have her, you know, do, I don't know, doing something, yeah, jumping or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, yeah. And then, so just switching back and forth and then, um, uh, and then at the end, putting together these little kind of mini films. So, mm -hmm. so it yeah, is really fun. fun. Like it's a lot it of is. work. Yeah. It's it a is a lot of work. work. Yeah, yeah, it is but like going I, through and cause you have to edit. Like I edit, I try to edit the films to look or the videos to look like my, the photos like a similar edit and that parts that is tricky for sure because it's not the same process to no, edit them like, it's like oh, filter yeah yeah right? no or like, no. Yeah, no i yeah exactly um, so and then actually one of the hardest parts is picking the like the right um song to add to it and of course i have to i can only use certain songs because of copyright right. and um but it's tricky that part's tricky so because it's got to be like the right feel for it so that actually sometimes takes me I the longest is like yeah no, i totally <laughs> yeah, yeah it's not like instagram and it's a reel and you're like okay that they picked the reel and line it up for me super <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, you know, like, <laughs> right no oh, it's a yeah. lot to get all together i know i'm doing a mm -hmm. uh, modern faces portrait course and it's like uh filming spots i'm like this is the worst <laughs> But you love capturing, I minored in film, and I do love capturing oh, cool. that sort of, um, it is another way, another way to create, and it's a beautiful yeah. thing, yeah. and I'm lucky enough that my brother and sister uh, are musicians, so they've let me oh. have their tracks they, without oh, uh, oh. lyrics, so oh, that that's nice. nice. Um, I'm like, mm -hmm. one day I'll give you money, maybe if I have it. That's a challenge, but yeah, to line it all up and have everything hit a beat and, mm -hmm. and it's, it's all the yeah. hours, but I'm proud of you for adding that. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. I, I'm really excited about it and, um, it just adds something. I just feel like, cause actually we had our photos taken this um this fall by amber elliott and uh -huh. she's another local photographer and her and i just swapped um but she did a film for us as well and then i did one for her but um yeah i like it was the same i just loved it so much for ourselves and my husband like that was his favorite part of oh. it he just loved it so yeah it just adds just, there's something about it there is something know. about it yeah and actually, yeah, I, I, growing up, like, I totally wanted to be in the movies. And uh, so <laughs> this, I feel like this is my way of now I can make little mini two minute, three minute movies and I can, um, yeah, live out that dream, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Because I posted that story about Emma Watson. Is it Emma Watson? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you had messaged me about it and she mm -hmm. had said, you know, I thought I wanted to, uh, for years and years, just be in front of the camera and the muse, but I have been so empowered by coming behind the camera yeah. and capturing, you know, mm -hmm. you know, the beauty of filmmaking through the lens. And I totally get what she's saying, although I never wanted to be the muse uh, or anything. Yeah, no. Well, I was very young when I felt this it. way, definitely. <laughs> but, I'm definitely uh, far more comfortable behind the camera. Yeah, yeah, I like, um, but it's hard to 
and when you are trying to well, when I do stuff for work I'm like it's hard to explain like what I want but I have to be in front of the camera and I can't just mm-hmm. do it myself right so you have yeah. to like, hire people who can do it um right that is just a part of I hate calling it this but it's a part and Sean always said well your brand I was like e right <laughs> brand <laughs> I guess yeah, I do have a brand uh, right and but that is part of like it's uncomfortable and I've always had um I'm trying and I've been working on it really hard for a year or two but just being comfortable with like money mindset and and all that stuff because when I get it I just want to give it all away so yeah like we need to do some growing <laughs> and you know like we're maybe half a generation apart or I don't know but growing up I never like that wasn't an option for me like me yeah. owning my own business like that wasn't presented that wasn't right. it, it never crossed no. my mind because it wasn't yeah. around um yeah. Yeah. you know CEO wasn't like it's like a term I've just started using because right. and it's kind of sad but it, it's not it's not an adjustment just for society it's an adjustment for myself uh yeah. to you know and there are more examples now there yeah. Oh, yeah. Women leading the way. There are women working together, and mm-hmm. um, so I think. Yeah, it's the actually more happens, the better. Yeah. Oh, for sure. It's so inspiring to see women like you. Like you are un- just unbelievable. All the things that you're doing and how driven you are, and see, all these so- things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's know. so it's like it's it amazes me it really does and it is it's inspiring like it makes you feel like okay i can do these i can do some things i think <laughs> yeah no like and that's the thing like you can you can um mm-hmm. and that's that's what i hope for and that's what really um like i noticed and it kind of that's where it started was i noticed that people were very inspired when i like I uh, started thinking about narrative and telling my story and mm-hmm. just doing it. And then mm-hmm. I had a meeting with my art consultant, Penny Lane, and she's like, this is great. I love all your storytelling. She's like, but you got to sell something. Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I know you sell your like original artwork, but she's like, you have to add some stuff because <laughs> right why are you doing it? I'm like, well, yeah, like that's, I know. And, yeah. And I still, after she said that it took me like a year to catch on or two, uh, mm-hmm. to, because I just like, you know, um, and, and, you know, people would message me and I'd spend lots of time messaging them back and taking the yeah. care and saying, you know, read this book or you'll love this or check yeah. this out and like never, buy this or like because I'm so right. uncomfortable about it <laughs> right. and that's yeah. like yeah. you're running a business you know mm-hmm. I have not made a lot of money doing that yeah. because yeah I'm just like I love inspiring people and it's great yeah. and, <laughs> right. um, but we do I do have to think about like you know that va- there is value to my time there's value to your time yeah um, yeah and so I, I I decided well I will put all this in a book and yeah very long time to read, write a book. I'm loving doing it, but it takes a very long time. Um, so one day I'll be like, okay, you you love it? Oh, you can buy my book. And so yeah. I'll make it right. eight dollars there. So yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. Hopefully That's eight amazing. times thousands um one day or more than that. Yeah. Um yeah, so and then like you know, sustainable and passive income sources, which I hadn't even heard about until like a year right. and a half ago. Like, what is that? Yeah. But you live and you learn, and you meet yeah. friends who will guide you down that path. And I know the pandemic was rough. Uh, mm-hmm. It still is. Um, but there were some good things that came out of it. And I think I wouldn't give up is connecting with females who, you know, were, yeah. who are successful, who are open to chatting and who are mm-hmm. open to telling you like yeah this is how we did work for me you should try it yeah like yeah. really great females and yeah. I'm so grateful for them and I wouldn't have 
met them had an with all stuff on our computers. That's, you know, it's something that's, it's so true. Like I'm finding that too. I just have so many great relationships with fellow female entrepreneurs and um, everyone's so willing to kind of share what's working for them and, and kind of all trying to lift each other up. And it's, I don't know, it's pretty cool. I love it. It's, mm -hmm. it's, I don't want it shifted, but I'm so glad it did. Um, yeah. Yeah. Above competition. And, yeah. and, you know, it just, it's, it's, it's like, it's a relief, honestly. Yeah. Um, Cause the way, maybe I'm just growing into my own, um, you know, I think too, like moving into your thirties, like you're just less and less, you're like, well, I gave birth a few times and I <laughs> like really that's you know you've gone through yeah. some stuff and it's the rest of it doesn't seem as scary because that all yeah. this stuff was so hard that mm -hmm. you're like oh that is nothing I can right. tackle that. <laughs> right exactly that is really actually working because you know people yeah. complain about work you're like oh work is mine now like it's my time right. so yeah um, you know it's it's a different story than your early twenties when when you're still kind of a kid. As you know, well, if I've, you have coming up there. Yeah. And i I think now with my kids being the age they are at too, there's like also that feeling of wanting to make them proud and inspire them to wanna do these things for themselves Something someday too. Cool. Whatever. Yeah, whatever they're passionate about. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's important. It, it's hard to see your kids. You know, it would be hard to see them struggle. I I could see mm -hmm. that. I remember too when we were in our twenties, and Carly, my partner, uh, he had a job that just wasn't for him, wasn't for his personality, mm -hmm. and I and his parents did sit sit us down. They're like, okay, yeah. so it was, a, and it took a few years. Like they let him kind of oh, yeah. not succeed at this one thing. And yeah. how hard would that be? Like, yeah. it's going to be hard. Oh yeah. Very. It is hard. Very hard. Like, yeah. yeah. So I'm really grateful to be sat us down. That was a big relief too. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, we can't live off of what I'm making as a server. In right. In the hospitality industry. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's uh, like we were doing fine. Uh, yeah. And um, the economy was good. So serving wasn't actually bad at all. But uh, right. it's like as far as like life plans go, that wasn't an, I didn't want to do that forever. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, but I always talk sure. about that. That's the stepping stone setting you up for, you know, where you'll be in your life. Um, and that was a stepping stone uh, for him. Um, and he needed to struggle before he took, like, so they asked him to enter the business, right? Their yeah. family business. And yeah. so I think if he hadn't have struggled and if he hadn't, have, you know, had those experiences, he wouldn't have appreciated it as much. Oh, for um, sure. Right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot oh, of yeah. value in that. Absolutely. Yeah, when I, I mean, the, like forever ago, but I was a dishwasher and I worked at The Gap and yeah, like Safeway, all kinds of um, jobs that I just knew that there was, I, I needed to be doing something creative somehow. So I hope, yeah. I really hope that my kids are, will be able to follow, follow their passions or do something that they're happy happy with it's such a big part of our life right so uh -huh. Uh -huh. if you're mis miserable at work then yeah that's not good no not good <laughs> no do you yeah. help out uh so you guys also have like um some farming stuff going on so that does that take yeah. up quite a bit of your energy yeah um i mean my husband is the um like he does 90% of it himself. And he's been working full time in the oil patch as well as having our branch. So it's been, it's been a really uh, busy, I don't know, 15 years-ish. Um, <laughs> it's 15 years. 
<laughs> but uh, he's actually retiring from the oil patch and he's going to be just farming full time. So that's super exciting. The end of the month, actually. So that's wow, going to be a huge shift. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Huge shift in our life, which uh, we're all really excited about. Not but yeah. I, break, I, by the way. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It is. That's, 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 a, that's a lot. Of, I can't even say it. That's a lot to balance. Like that is. It is. Yeah. You know, when we have, like, we just about have 200 head uh, cattle. So it's, uh, yeah, it's it's lots it's a lot for him but i i love to help when i really yeah. do like i grew up on a farm as well so i i like to get in and help when i can but it's been challenging because his busy time of the year starts in the spring and you know goes until basically december and it's my busy time as well so wow. that part's been a bit challenging and our son who's 17 will be leaving next year and he's like a massive help a so oh, yeah. so I mean the girls will kick in and they'll be helping as well but yeah I'm I am planning to cut back next year on my sessions and um try and help him a bit more too and yeah it's good find a new good. route and new balance. Trying to find, yeah, a new balance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but it is hard because I, I do struggle. I struggle saying no to people. And oh, I know. I like, yeah. did a job just now and I'm like, or a while ago, and I'm just like, I should have definitely said no to that. Like, yeah. Um, I had this discussion with C. Uh, she, I talked to her today. She's Live Living Dream, and she was like part of like some fortune what is it? What are they called? Like global, uh, I had it written down because I'm like terrible with business terms <laughs> because I'm uncomfortable like, with money. Um, yeah. I'm like, so, so who can I donate to this year? Uh, oh, I'll, pay for yeah. I'll give away the rest. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So she, like global brands, like she worked oh, in, okay. in yes, but, like global with global brands and, and ad agencies, etc. cetera. And, um, yeah, so she she um, she's like, you know, um, I hate numbers, but and she knows because obviously she had agencies like they have. She's like, you have to go. Even though I hate them, they are so important. They are the number one thing you should look look at. Especially if you say yes to something, you have to right. go through like, why are you doing this? And you have to like look at the numbers yeah. for everything, and right. and then move your business forward, or you're gonna fail. Obviously, I'm yeah. Like, All right. Yeah. So I can't design a shirt tomorrow because I only make two dollars when I sell shirts. Like, so I shouldn't probably <laughs> make it anymore. But I like to make shirts. So that <laughs> yeah. be, no, like, and or something like um, smaller scale mural jobs for me. Like, yeah, uh, they're about the same cost as um, if I set my studio at home and for uh -huh. an afternoon. Right. They're about the same cost if I go under a certain square footage. So like. Those yeah. are examples of jobs that I, but I have a problem like you saying, yeah, saying no, because yeah. you're like, but they're my friend or they're nice or I'm yeah. excited. I want to collaborate. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and there's a point exactly. where we get so busy and so overwhelmed, not like, not just with your job, but your family, your farm, your, whatever yeah. you're doing that yeah. everyone suffers your mental mm -hmm. well-being your family suffers and those are the two things that should outweigh everything else, right right totally so, yeah. and and it does it does come back to you probably shouldn't do it and not that life is all about that but like no we all have yeah, to be a little more conscious yeah you know so yeah. and totally. yeah i did do something and now i'm now regretting it and you know <laughs> so you just yeah you can only do that so many times you can only take Definitely. yourself. Yeah. To, oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it, it is, it's hard. I, it's something that I definitely struggle with for sure is that I've gotten better at it over the years, but uh, yeah, it's a struggle to say no. And, but I, I think now though, too, like I, what's help, what helps me is 
um, I, I refer them to another amazing local photographer or a few of them to look at. Yeah. Like, no, so that, cool. you know, yeah. it's like, no, no, don't worry here. They're going to do, they're going to take amazing pictures for you. So check them yeah. out. No, that's a, that's a positive way of, in yeah. fact, I think our art Queens group, someone had listed like positive ways to say no. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> nice ways I should have yeah. like I think I need to go back and find it it was really it was full of some gems but like <laughs> right. uh, really great ways of you know yeah just yeah because it is it's it's hard um for you know when you're you're natural and you're like what if I'm giving up an opportunity and you're like yeah hey, this is it you're you're saying no and an yeah. opportunity that was meant for you or a bigger opportunity, you'll have that time and energy for that. And that's where yeah. you should be because for sure. it will yeah. suck up the time and the energy and maybe not be the right choice. Yeah, so totally. Um, so, but you know, you can't see the future. So no. Um, no. <laughs> yeah. And, it, and I think with what we do too, it makes it challenging because it's not like, okay, I think I will just take on, this, this many shifts a week kind of thing, or this many days a week. Like when I, when I start taking pictures in, like I start off usually with grads in the beginning, in the spring, and basically like I'm, I'm on my laptop, to, like every, every minute of the day that I'm not cleaning, cooking, running kids somewhere, I'm editing. And, and yeah. that from like, spring until now like i'm still doing that uh -huh. so yeah it's uh you know it's so different than other jobs where you're like okay yeah i'll go eight hours you know or 40 hour well, week or whatever no totally and i think it's fear based for me because mine is like you get paid like you're a guarantee like you book a session you're paid for the session yeah. and that is yeah that's works for me it's so inconsistent and it's hard right. for me to you know uh for me like it's it's a little bit fear-based and you're never supposed to like give into that but like yeah there were three months there where I didn't have one job right you know, I had like some custom work but that's not like gonna pay for my food um my family's yeah. food so right. um and then all of a sudden I have like seven in one week and uh yeah. so that's when you know, you think about your numbers and you think about yeah. sustainable and passive income sources because uh, you can't do 30 paintings right in December before Christmas. Yeah. And like, <laughs> so, you know, it's going to take a few years for mine to hopefully like pan out and like, you mm -hmm. know, have two year old jobs in the summer. And then, yeah. you know, and it's, it's just like to say no, you're like, if I say no, I'm saying no to money. And I might not yeah. have that job in a few right. months. So. Totally, exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. But I, and it's like working and balancing it all at once. It's oh it's yeah, so special. So I yeah. don't know if I'll ever figure it out. Maybe. No, and I mean, <laughs> maybe I don't think I I don't think so either. Like, because I I'm saying this now, but will I really cut back or <laughs> right. or what? what what will happen but anyway it's yeah uh, because, it's a nice yeah, thought <laughs> yeah it is well you know i think i think once you know if you're so booked up and this is like for any sort of creative if you're that booked up and i was for custom stuff uh the year before um mm -hmm. 130 over 130 original pieces wow felt like oh if God. i drew another face i would just die um after that <laughs> christmas and there was like five the week before christmas oh. and it was people I knew, and it was special projects like of someone they've lost etc yeah and i couldn't say no. no and so like i don't know what i was doing i would have get i mentor other artists and i would have i tell them the raise the prices all the time <laughs> so i was just in it and i didn't see yeah and I was, I burnt out so badly. And so yeah. like, yeah, I made, like, duh, raise your prices a bit and then, yeah. you know, have two jobs a month instead of 11. Yeah. Oh yeah. Whatever I was doing. Like, yeah. Um, so I definitely need to take a hard look at that. All that. Yeah. This, like that's five, 10, 15% winter. increase. If like, if you're so busy, like that is the first mm -hmm. that like, 
my consultant says that, my friends in my mastermind groups, everyone yeah. listening, if you're creative, if you're so yeah. burnt out, you just need to yeah. raise it. And the clients that will really, the special clients who you need, who will support you no matter mm -hmm. what, you'll book it. You'll have less bookings, yes, but you'll have yeah. the same amount of money. And yeah. so that's the first move there. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I've actually, in talking to several of my photographer friends, they're kind of feeling the same way. I think just a bit burnt yeah. out. And, yeah. So there's enough people to take. We need to. Of, yeah. You know, so no, no fear, guys. Like, um, yeah, just you got to do what's best for you. And and so, like, I'm not saying double or anything crazy, no. but, like, you yeah. know, and that's when you get yeah, the special clients who really want you there. Because when, when you kind of do the lower stuff, you get a few that, you know, aren't so great. Um, yeah. And that's what yeah. happened. Yeah, for sure. And, I mean, you, I, I want people hiring me not because I'm the right price point necessarily, like that's not right. what we want them to be searching for, right? No, so you want them to connect with your magic. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I totally get that. Um, yeah. Okay, where can everyone find you online? Um, I have a website. Wait, no, which... sorry, I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm <Okay>. just gonna cut <laughs> you off. I forgot. Um, oh, I forgot with C today. Um, but I'm so consistent. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so Red Bicycle has sponsored yeah. our podcast, which is so exciting. Oh, exciting. yeah. Red Things. Thank I don't you. know what we're calling this. I got to get a name for it. Um, <laughs> a Day in the Life. I think that's what I decided to call it the other day. A Day in the Life. Um, I want you to think about um, the your ideal perfect day just what you would love doing, what you can imagine and envision for yourself. Hmm. The perfect day, hey? Ah, gosh, that's hard. Um, I, I would say... Yeah, it, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, at home, to be honest. It would probably be at home. I love being home um and creating something in some way or form uh with probably with my kids with my girls because they love to create with me um and maybe going going out for a walk or drive through our some of our property uh yeah i don't know i'm i'm pretty easy although i do i do love an adventure too but yeah, that would be that would be the perfect day, I think. Great. I love everyone's answers and to be honest, they're quite similar. And oh yeah. Huh. It just I think it's the perfect reminder for everyone of what is the most important thing to you in your life. And right. everyone kind of answers similarly. And yeah. it's always their family at home. Mm -hmm. Just that's it. Like and yeah. and yeah, <laughs> for driving them, seeing like seeing the sunset, like just all really similar yeah. answers. So thank you for sharing uh, yours. And okay, so now where can, I, where, can I, where can everyone find you? Okay, so I I have um, Facebook. Uh, Red Banjo Studios on Facebook and on Instagram. It's Kristen underscore Red Banjo Studios, or is it just Red Banjo? Now I, now I can't remember. Anyways, uh, you'll find it. Uh, and, I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know either. Um, and then uh, Kristen Hickman, or no, what's the other one? RedBanjoStudios.com. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it's like my website dearly needs to be updated. That's also oh, in my project no. this winter. You're so, so. busy. You're working like all mm. every minute of every day. Fuck your website. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. 
And like, do people really? even go to that? I, really? Yeah. No, like, honestly, um, if you're that busy, like, it's like really, uh, my website designer, Alyssa, she said, you know, Brand, you got to stop. Um, and someone told me this once. She's like, I'm going to give you their advice. You got to stop trying to figure out if everything's right or the right thing to do or if it's perfect and just all this stuff. I feel like there's a common theme to the advice that is given to me. You just got to start selling stuff, okay? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, don't be afraid huh. to sell stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Totally and I wish. Yeah. I, I want to sell. I'll be bad at them making money <laughs> one more time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why that. are we so bad at these things though? Like, I feel like it just goes hand in hand with being creative. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I was just fine like, taking tips as a waitress and working my ass <laughs> right. off. Time. Like, I don't know why I'm comfortable now. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it has a lot more to do with uh, like a long life story of growing up with a, a few like rich idols that weren't very nice. And so I've yeah. associated money with not being a nice person. And you can right. be a nice person and do good things with money uh, yeah. if you have it. And you can do good yeah. things with it and make a difference in the world. Having money and making a difference um, together. So, yeah. um, like you know, that. and having things that you want yeah right I'm, yeah I, and I, and it's hard for me too because you know i have my family and a home and and food and essentially you know that's what i feel like all i need almost so it's hard to yeah. you know be like well i need some more for and you're like for uh to not probably be like we're podcasting till nine at night and then editing till midnight. Like I need some more for balance, right? Yeah. So, and and so yeah, you have to visualize what you'll do with it. But I do also like supporting like lo local stuff with yeah, you know, yeah, making those changes and they and they go together. And there's nothing wrong with saying that you want money. And right. I will be more comfortable saying that more and more. But You Are a Badass <laughs> and Making Money is a great book for that by Jen Sincero. Okay. So have you read it? Uh, no. I wonder if I've been listening to a lot of um, audiobooks. I wonder if it's, I have oh, Libby app. For sure. It's for sure okay. uh, in there. She has You're a Badass. You're a Badass Every Day. You're a Badass at Making oh. Money. You're like, so... I read your badass at making money first, and then yeah. my new manager uh, bought me your badass, uh, and that was great. They're all great. In fact, I ordered her your badass every day, so it comes tomorrow because I wanted just Ooh. to like. I can't, I've never been more excited. Like I love inspirational books and stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm writing one, so that's how jazz I am about them. But right. hers have this special, and maybe it's because she's female, but mm -hmm. hers have like this way of like, you're like, I do, 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 like special. <laughs> okay, like, well, that's she, awesome. It changed my life. Um, oh. Sometimes not for the better. I was reading your badass at the morning, <laughs> and my husband was sitting across from me in our garage because we have couches because pandemic, oh, yeah. I transitioned our garage into like the trash space because three boys. <laughs> yeah. trash, they're smart so disgusting. i can't keep up with it so i did the garage um i don't care if i have to park outside i i don't care <laughs> yeah. um anyway he was looking at me i was like part way done the book and i don't know if he sensed my and <laughs> he was like i really i found my dream car it was like pandemic ish too i found <laughs> yeah. my car and like i i hate vehicles i think like you should have a practical vehicle and that's it yeah um, like i don't like wasting money yeah. uh and he's super into uh money wasting no i'm just kidding he's super <laughs> into just two big pairs of pants that's for sure um <laughs> i hope he doesn't listen to that he doesn't listen to my podcast so i don't have to wait. uh Come he on. likes cars he's always liked uh cars oh, yeah. Whatever. yeah well everyone has their thing i was like yeah so 
he was like, I found it. I can make it so it's only like 300 a month. And it's like half of what the car actually caught should cost. I found this. And I was just like, yeah, I mean, if that's what's going to make you happy in life. And, you know, <laughs> money is just like a movable commodity and it doesn't actually exist. So you do you. And <laughs> I'm like, what was that? you like, where? What kind of person says that? Like, and then. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just so um, it, is, though. it really doesn't exist. It is a movable commodity. It's an amazing book, yeah. and and then she read hey, cool. my I'm gonna my list. equally good book that I read about just um, uh, it's another like money mindset. Uh, I forget mm. what it's called, but I'll like I'll put it in the notes and I'll send it to you. Yeah, it's do all it. about creation. And the mm. fact that if we just create and and not dwell on the past and dwell in the future and you can dwell on the future um, and, you know, waste all of your energy and all your, your, like, your focus. If you just focus on the creation, people just gravitate toward you and mm -hmm. come, come with that natural gravitation because you're just, you know, you're jazzed to be doing yeah. what you're doing. And, and yeah. I think there's... He said it way differently than I am, but he just said it over and over and over in 150 pages. Mm. And I just actually <laughs> think it's so true. If you just yeah. keep, if you just keep inspiring and if you just keep creating whatever you decide to base, you know, whatever you're happy with doing is. Yeah. Um, it'll I just totally happen. agree. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's kind of like, I things actually attest to it working than yeah. what. Yeah, um, I agree. I feel it's it's been the same for me too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People mm -hmm. definitely gravitate and people that I've met because quality. of yeah. Yes, like yeah. people you met because of it, like and yeah. and not non competitiveness, which I talk about yeah. all the time. Yeah. But um, like I when I open my gallery on my site and. You're gonna try. To, you're also gonna sell your artwork, but you're also gonna try to sell everyone else's. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I just believe that you know, if I have a platform, it's not gigantic, but I have a platform. Yeah. And if we all support one another, that's twenty more people in one show and one collection. Yeah. I have a collector base. You have a collector base. They have a collector yeah. base. And totally. All, if our artwork is for this show that is all kind of the same, our collectors yeah. are going to like everyone's work. And yeah. it has been the most rewarding, exciting process because I have seen emerging artists for the first time mm -hmm. sell their, their first uh, pieces to a collector I had 10 years ago in the United States. And they liked the whatever they did. And it's the coolest experience of all time. And there is enough. For everyone, there totally it is. If you yeah. just drop the competitive mindset and just, you know, there is enough for it all. And if we, yeah, yeah just one hundred percent work together. I love it. I yeah. think too. Like that was actually the thing that I missed the most from art school was that mm -hmm. like you're just so inspired by the people that you surround yourself with when you're with creatives. And uh, yeah, I just, I love that. I love that feeling. It's, it's pretty, and that's why I, I love the connections that I have with lots of local creatives uh -huh. too. Yeah. Cause I am yeah. constantly inspired yeah. by them. And even if they're not a photographer, whatever medium they create in it's yeah, it's, it's so inspiring. Yeah. It's really special. And I think mm -hmm. it's really special that I've done probably so many people come to me with your photography. I've drawn from your photography like a lot. Hey, like I don't even know. Yeah. It's and, and it's not like we put it out there. It just happened. No, I know. I mean, I just get so excited. That makes sense. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, it's just crazy. And I totally can recognize it right away that it's you. And yeah. then they just like naturally gravitate toward wanting it painted. Like it's so strange. Yeah. I know it is. It's I, I love it. I just I get so excited to see what you create. Or if someone I just had a client not that long ago tell me that they were it was going to be their gift to themselves 
to to use one of my photos for one of your pieces so yeah i think we just we're on the same universal wavelength or something yeah. i don't know how to explain it okay. but it's pretty i'm neat. i'm all all in in for anything <laughs> yeah me too if it includes you i'm in um yeah. i'm sure there'll be more magical great projects mm -hmm. to come but i really want to thank you for popping on so late and and it's always nice to see you i love Thanks chatting yeah mm -hmm. and and i know everyone will enjoy this so much um because they're so special and kind Aww. you're sweet <laughs> okay so yes everyone check her out on just search all the things Kristen <laughs> yeah. Studio on google and instagram and the facebook and i'm sure it'll pop up somewhat okay thanks friend for being here thank you so much brandy so nice have a great night Thank you so much. I'm sure you picked up on a little of that magic and weird coincidences. <laughs> um, but you can go check out our portrait class that we did at brandyhofer.ca in the learn category. And it's it's on there. It's it's uh, you can either pay one fifty nine or split it into three month installments. And and then it's just not so much at all and totally worth it. Uh, and you can take it at your own pace and the paint spot will help with your materials list. Um, yeah, it's so nice. And I, and I'm sure you love Kristen just as much as I do. So thank you so much for her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you so much, Kristen, for joining me. And I wonder why my audiobook went so poorly. <laughs> the record It didn't go poorly, but when we recorded it, I was like, this is so fucking hard. I can't breathe wrong. <laughs> And you know me, I love I love organic, just straight up weird talk. So thanks for putting up with me, friends. I love you so much, and we'll all chat soon. <laughs>